Pokemon Shlek from the one here and welcome back. I am very excited. We are returning to the Supernatural fandom, the franchise, everything. I am so excited. I loved the last episode. I'm loving the series so far. This one is called Phantom Traveler. It's episode four of season one. I have no background as I do with none of these episodes anyway, but it sounds like, because Phantom means like ghost basically, right? Like I, 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 that's what I, I'm going to say it means, fan, phantom means ghost. Anyway, but it usually is something that's kind of unexpected. Like the wa last one, we had the water demon and it turned out to be a, a, a boy who had possessed the water. So I'm actually really, really excited to get back into this. I love the story. I love these two and their chemistry. I'm just excited to see where this goes. And also I did want to let you guys know this is the last Supernatural episode that we are doing um, before spooky season, and then spooky season is going to be from September 30th to October 31st, and we won't have any regular uploads for that time, but we will be continuing Supernatural and all our other shows after spooky season, so don't panic, but I wanted to let you guys know this is probably going to be the last episode we check out before spooky season, and then we'll have to stop it for a little bit, but I'm excited to get into it, so sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching season one, episode four of Supernatural. All right, who's excited? Ooh, a beach, all right. Ooh, Hawaii. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're in an airport, I bet. Okay. Is this going to be a ghost that possesses an airport? That's kind of fun. You know, what are the odds of dying in a plane crash? Oh, that's I mean, comforting. 20,000 to one? <laughs> that didn't help at all, sir. Thank you. Wow. That's uh, really reassuring. Yeah. Thank you. What if you're that one in the 200,000? Like, you don't tell people that. It's coming through the freaking vent. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Don't get up. Oh! Oh my god, it went through his eye. Holy. Uh, 11F, that's uh, the little plane. Thank you. She has a vibe, and I, I can the see left. it. Is he gonna make the plane crash? <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, do you know how long we've been up? Cool. Uh, about 40 minutes. Wow. Time really does fly, huh? Okay. Excuse me. I gotta stretch my legs. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he's gonna open it. Dude, what the hell are you? Okay, don't they have, like, okay, first of all, don't they have somebody over there watching that? Because that's a fucking door. Like, I know that it's common to think that someone wouldn't want to touch it, but, like, what if someone touched it just, like, right now? Like, why do we not have someone watching that? And also, why is it not locked? Oh, damn. Ooh, there's some Final Destination shit in here. Oh, my God, that cart. Who the fuck? Why was nobody watching that fucking cart? Oh my god! That was fucking scary! Hi, Dean! Where's Sam? Oh, he just left, okay. Dean, I gotta fault you, buddy. Who sleeps in a watch? Nobody. Nobody should be sleeping in a watch. Morning, sunshine. Oh, what time is it? Uh, it's about 5.45. Oh, my morning. gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you meant in the evening. I was like, what? Did you sleep last night? Yeah, I got up a couple hours. You're a liar. Because I was up at 3, and you were watching the George Foreman infomercial. Hey, what can I say? It's riveting TV. I appreciate your concern. Oh, I'm not concerned about you. It's your job to keep my ass alive, so I need you sharp. Oh my Seriously, God. You still nightmares about Jess? Yeah, I want, well, yeah. Yeah. 
but it's not just her, it's everything. I just forgot, you know, this job. Man, that kid's dear. Well, you can't let it. You can't bring her home like that. So what? All this, it never keeps you up at night? Yeah. Never? You're never afraid? No, not really. <laughs> What's that? Oh, my God. Not only is Dean always packing, he's always having a knife under his That's pillow, too. Oh, my God. That's precaution. All right, whatever. Sure. I'm too tired to argue. Dean. It's, uh, it's Jerry Panowski. Oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah, up in uh, Katanning, Pennsylvania, the poltergeist thing. It's not back, is it? No. No. <laughs> Thank God, no. But it's something else. And, uh, well, I think it could be a lot worse. What is it? Can we talk in person? Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe not over the phone. Your dad said you were off at college, is that right? Yeah, I was. I'm taking some time off. Well, he was real proud of you, I could tell. Mm. He talked about you all the time. <laughs> he did? Yeah, you bet he did. Man. Oh, hey, you know, I tried to get a hold of him, but I couldn't. How's he doing anyway? Don't know. He's, um, wrapped up in a job right now. Well, we're missing the old man. What do you get Sam? Even trade, huh? <laughs> man, mm. not by a long shot. I got something I want you guys to hear. Cockpit voice recorder for United Britannia Flight 2485. This is one of ours. that noise took off from here crashed about 200 miles south now they're saying mechanical failure mm -hmm. cabin depressurized somehow nobody knows why over 100 people on board only seven got out alive pilot was one okay but His name is that guy opened the door chuck is uh well he's pretty broken up about it yeah like it was his fault You've been in there forever. Gosh. You can't rush perfection. Homeland Security? That's pretty illegal, even for us. How does he get this? Does he yeah, just well, have someone make them? New. Does he have a guy? People haven't seen it a thousand times. <sighs> All right, so what do you got? Well, there's definitely EVP on the cockpit voice recorder. Yeah? Listen. <laughs> Ooh. Ew, that sounded like... No survivors? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? There were seven survivors. Got me. So what do you think, in a haunted flight? There's a long history of spirits and death omens on planes and ships like Phantom Travelers. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, remember Flight 401? Right. The one that crashed and the airline salvaged some of its parts, put it in other planes. And then the spirit of the pilot and co-pilot haunted those flights. Right. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we got a similar deal. Oh, psychiatric hospital. I don't understand. I already spoke with Homeland Security. Right. Some new information has come up, so if you could just answer a couple questions. Just before the plane went down, did you notice anything unusual? Like what? Strange lights, uh, weird noises, maybe. Voices. No, nothing. Isn't this the guy yeah. that saw him this open the door and have the black eyes? Taffy. Jaffe, you checked yourself in here, right? Can I ask why? I was a little stressed. I survived a plane crash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what terrified you, and that's what you were afraid of? I, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Why are you I so hostile? You seem something you did. I mean, I know you we need to freaked know out, but... No, no, I was delusional, seeing things. Who was this okay. man? Yeah, he, he's gonna, he's the guy. And uh, he had these eyes, these... Uh, Black eyes. Soulless and I eyes. I saw him. Or I thought I saw him. What? He opened the emergency exit. But that's that's impossible, right? I mean, I looked it up. There's something like two tons of pressure on that door. Yeah, that is. Hmm. This man, uh, did he uh, seem to appear and disappear? 
rapidly, it, it would look something like a mirage. What are you, nuts? <laughs> what? He was a passenger. He mm -hmm. was sitting right in front of me. He was headed to a convention in Denver. Do you know that he was petrified to fly? For him to go like that. How long were you married? Fifteen years. In all that time, did you ever notice anything strange about him? Anything See, that's where we're getting it wrong, though, is that it wasn't him. It was something that possessed him. No. Uh, he had asked a big box, if that's what you mean. Girl. I, I guess she would think that maybe that helps, but it, it does not. I mean, it goes without saying. It just doesn't make any sense. A yeah, middle-aged dentist with an ulcer is not exactly evil personified. Mm -hmm. You know what we need to do is get inside that NTSB warehouse and check out the wreckage. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know, all I gotta do, all I gotta do is put on some suits, get some fake badges, and I mean like really, really good fake badges, but like all I gotta do is flash that and a smile and they're ready to go. How can they just friggin' get anywhere? Oh damn. So this is how they assess planes after these kind of incidents. They like disassemble them and take the parts and am analyze them to see what went wrong. What is that? It's an EMF meter. It reads electromagnetic frequencies. Yeah, I know what an EMF meter is, but why does that one look like a busted up walkman? That's what I made it out of. Oh, is it an Homemade? inventor too? Or a he knows yeah, how to I can see that. Oh, can you? Oh, he has a whole kit. Ew, Dean. Oh shit. Oh. Security. What? One team of you guys isn't enough? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Two of your shit. buddies went inside. Not five minutes. Oh shit! 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 Guys, get out! Oh my god, dude! You guys, move! Oh shit, they went out the back door. <laughs> they went out the back door. You guys are really bad at your job. Oh my god. Right over that bitch with nothing. Well, these monkey suits do come in handy. Listen, Damn. Guys, it's like getting back on a horse. Only in this case, a little twin engine. Not even a horse. More like a pony. I can be right there with you, too. Anytime you feel like you don't want the wheel, I'll take over. I don't know. After a plane crash like that, it would be kind of scary as a pilot to go back. The waiting is worse. Okay, just filling up the tank. Then we go. Shit, it's back! It's back! Oh! It's coming! It's coming for more victims! No! And it's gonna take over the pilot, and the pilot's gonna make the plane crash, and they're gonna say he's crazy! Stuff is covered in sulfur. You sure? Sulfur? Take a look okay. for yourself. You fellas will excuse me. I have an idiot to fire. Hey, Einstein. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Yeah, there's not too many. Yeah, there's not too many things that leave behind a sulfurized residue. Demonic possession. It really? Does demonic possession leave sulfur back? The sulfur trace? It's possible. Yeah, this goes way beyond floating over a bed or barfing pea soup. I mean, it's one thing to possess a person, but to use them to take down an entire airplane? Have you ever heard of something like this before? Never. Mm. How you feeling? I feel great. I'll be back flying jumbos before you know it. I hope so. Why does that plane remind or jet up? plane uh, remind me of? Uh, 40 minutes. Wow. Time really does fly. Wait a second. How long we been up? Uh, almost uh, 40 minutes. Wow. Time really does fly. 
Why does why every time do they start crashing? Does the demon ask how long they've been flying? And forty minutes seems to be the trigger, because then they say time really does fly, and then they always like crash it. Damn, bitch! Why though? What is significance about forty minutes? Is it right over something? All right, so what, we have a demon that's evolved with the times and found a way to ratchet up the body count? Yeah. You know? Wait a second, what if it's a demon that has to do with time? Because, like I said, there's always, they always say, how many minutes have we been up here? It's 40 minutes. What if it's not a demon that has to do necessarily with uh, the the plane crashing, but with time itself? I brought down before this one. I don't know. What? I don't know, man. This isn't our normal gig. I mean, demons, they don't want anything. Just death and destruction for its own sake. Yeah. And this is big. And I wish Dad was here. Oh. Yeah, me too. You guys can do it. It's okay. You have each other. Hello? Hey, this is Jerry. Oh, hey, Jerry. My pilot friend. Chuck Lambert is dead. Jerry, I'm sorry. What happened? Plane crashed. A small twin. About an hour ago. The plane went down. Where'd this happen? About 60 miles west of here near Nazareth. This demon sounds like it was after him. With all due respect to Chuck, um, if that's the case, that would be the good news. What's the bad news? Chuck's plane went down exactly 40 minutes into flight. And yes. get this. So did flight 24. Yep, 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 yep. See, we're crashing on. What does that mean? It's biblical numerology. You know, Noah's Ark, it rained for 40 days. Number means death. I went back, and there have been six plane crashes over the last decade that all went down exactly 40 minutes in. Any survivors? No. Or not until now, at least. Not until flight 2485, for some reason. On the cockpit voice recorder. Remember what the EVP said? No survivors. Takes care of Blaine Sanderson and Dennis Holloway. They're not flying anytime soon. So our only wild card is the flight attendant Amanda Walker. She's right. flying She's all the time. That her flight leaves Indianapolis at 8 p.m. It's her oh, first time back on the job. Oh, that sounds like just our luck. Dean, this is a five-hour drive, man. Even with you behind the wheel. Why don't you call Amanda's cell phone again? See if we can't head her off the pass. I already left her three voice messages. She must have turned her cell phone off. God, we're never gonna make it. Oh, we'll make it. Is that her? That's her. Come on. This is Amanda Walker. It's Walker. Hi, this is Dr. James Hetfield from St. Francis Memorial Hospital. We have a Karen Walker here. Oh my God, Dean! Dean! No. Just a minor car accident, but she was injured, so. Wait, wait, wait! That's impossible. I just got off the phone with her. Dean. My you God. Are? Five minutes ago, she's at her house cramming for a final. Who is this? Dean. Uh, well, there must be some mistake. And how would you even know I was here? Is this one of Vince's friends? God, Dean. Guilty as charged. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. It's too late. Don't be like that. I mean, come on, the Dean, guys. Dean, you're dropping best. the ball really, so hard. Pathetic. Really? Oh, yeah. Look, I gotta go. Um, tell him to call me when I land. Mm -hmm. no, no, mm -hmm. Amanda. Amanda. All right, it's time for plan B. We're getting on that plane. We're, no, thank you. Just hold on a second. Dean, that plane is leaving with over 100 passengers on board. And if we're right, that plane is going to crash. I no, know. thank you. Well, okay, then we're getting on the plane. We need to find that demon and exercise it. Look, I'll get the tickets. You just go get whatever you can out of the trunk. Whatever will make it through security. Meet me back here in five Whatever minutes. can make it through security. Are you okay? No. Always scared of flying. No, not really. You're not like flying? What? What's wrong? I kind of have this problem with, uh... Oh, he's scared. Flying? It's never really been an issue until now. Yeah. You're joking, right? Do I look like I'm joking? Being scared of flying. Why do you think I drive everywhere, Sam? All right, uh, I'll go. No! What? I'll do this one on my no. own. No! What are you, nuts? 
You said it yourself. Yeah, I, I don't like Steve, that. We can do it together. I can do this one by myself. I'm not seeing a third option here. Yeah. Steve, reading a book, a coloring book. Just try to relax. Just try to shut up. Flying can be scary, though. Honestly, I get it. It's terrifying. It's okay. You're fine. Oh, gosh. All that terrible. Hold his hand or something, Sam. Ooh. He didn't like that. To track this thing down, or whoever it's possessing, anyway, and perform a full on exorcism. Yeah, on a crowded plane, that's gonna be easy. Just yeah. take it one step at a time, all right? I don't like that mentality. No. We're gonna cross that bridge when we come to it? Well, it's usually gonna be somebody with some sort of weakness, you know, a chink in the armor that the demon can worm through. Something with an addiction or some sort of emotional distress. Right. Well, this is Amanda's first flight after the crash. If I were her, I'd be pretty messed up. Oh, no, she wasn't. She's not there. All right, well, that's gotta be Amanda back there, so... I'll go talk to her, and uh, I'll get a read on her mental state. Right. What if she's already possessed? There's ways to test that. What are you gonna do? What is that? How about holy water? No, I think we no, need more, more subtle. If she's possessed, she'll flinch at the name of God. Oh, okay, nice. so say God's name in front of her. Hey, what? Say it in Latin. I know. Okay. Hey. What? what? It's... Uh, in Latin, it's Christo. Dude, I know I'm not an idiot. I was gonna say, I think he would know that if you told him that. Can I help you with something? Oh, no, I'm... A bit of an uneasy flyer. Makes me feel better to walk around a little bit. Oh, it happens to the best of us. Right. Of course, you being a stewardess, I guess the lane comes easy to you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. Okay. Really? You're, you're a nervous flyer? Yeah, maybe. A little bit. Well, now, how is it that being a stewardess, you're scared to fly? Kind of I was, well, I think you just overcome the fear. Is... Right. I'm sorry for asking. Okay. You ever consider other employment? No. Look, everybody's scared of something. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm not gonna let it hold me back. Yeah, see? Huh. She doesn't look like a demon, though. She doesn't have the black eyes. Christo. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say something? No. <laughs> Christo? Dean. <laughs> Dean. I, I, I didn't... I had nothing, never mind. I was gonna say, you're... <laughs> So awkward. The person on the planet. You said Christo. Yeah. <laughs> There's no demon in her. There's no demon getting in her. So if it's on the plane, it can be anyone. Anywhere. Okay. Come oh, on, shit. that can't be normal. Hey, hey, it's just a little turbulence. Sam, this plane is going to crash, okay? So quit treating me like I'm freaking Thor. You need to calm down. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Dude, stole the touchy feely self help yoga crap. It's not helping. If you're panicked, you're wide open to demonic possession, so you need to calm yourself down. Right oh now. shit, what if they got possessed? What if Dean got possessed? Oh my god, that would be... I don't want that. Yeah, let's calm down. Let's just take it down a notch. Breathe. Good. Slow. Now, I found an exorcism in here that I think is gonna work. The Ritual Romanum. What do we have to do? It's two parts. The okay. first part expels the demon from the victim's body. It makes it manifest. Which actually makes it more powerful. More powerful? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, it doesn't need to possess someone anymore. It can just wreak havoc on its own. Right. Oh. And why is that a good thing? Well, because the second part sends the bastard back to hell. So who could it be then? Or is it. Oh, don't, don't do, do that. that. How much time we got? 15 minutes. Shit. We can't find anybody. Somebody. Maybe the thing's just not on the plane. You believe that? No. Well, I will if you will. What the hell are we supposed to do? Right. Get in there? Flight's not too bumpy for you, I hope. Yeah, actually, that's kind of what we need to talk to you about. Um, okay. What can I do for you? All right, this is going to sound nuts, but... We, just we only got 12 minutes. We got to make it brief. Right All right, look. We know you were on flight 2485. Who are you guys? Now, we've spoken to some of the other survivors. We know something brought down that plane, and it wasn't mechanical failure. And we need your help, because we need to stop it from happening again, here, mm -hmm. now. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm very busy. No, I don't, 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 don't,
The pilot from 2485, Chuck Lambert, he's dead. Wait, what? What, Chuck is dead? Yes. He died in a plane crash. Now, that's two plane crashes in two months. That doesn't strike you as strange? On 2485, there was this, uh, this man. He had these eyes. Yes, that's exactly what we were talking about. Well, I don't understand. What are you asking me to do? Get the co-pilot. We need you to bring him back here. Why? What does he have to do with anything? Don't have to it's understand. It's in him anything. now. Talk to him, okay? Well, how am I supposed to go into the cockpit and get the whatever co-pilot? Whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. I, I tell him there's something broken back here. Whatever will get him out of that cockpit. Do you know that I could lose my job? Okay, well, you can do a lot more than that if you don't help us out. I was going to say, I girl, I think we got to kind of risk, risk it at this point. I don't think we really have time to not do this. This looks not crazy at all. Now, what's the problem? Oh my god, Dean! Yeah. Dean! Oh my god! What, what are you doing? You said you were just gonna talk. Come on, that was we so fast! Talk. Oh, it is him. Okay, I was like, what if we're just beating up on him for no reason? Look, we need you calm. We need no, you, we need you to calm down, ma'am. We need you to calm down. Can you do that? Amanda. Okay. Okay, just okay. go out there. Look pretty. Take care of it. Hurry up, Sam. I don't know how much longer I can hold him. Oh, damn! He's gonna get out. He's gonna get out. He's gonna get out. He can hold him. And oh my God, he's beating your ass. Oh, your oh no, Don't, Sam? Dean, Sam? No. Dean! Sam, come on, Sam. Please. That's what you're doing. I got him. Oh, boo -boo. Get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out here. Don't want to go into somebody else. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, then the lights are flashing, everybody has no chill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so funny though. Dean was just in the corner huddling, screaming. <laughs> Sam, these things, they, they, they read minds. They lie. Yeah. All right, that's all it was. Are we sure, though? Yeah. What if that was the demon that knew? Nobody knows what you guys did, but I do. A lot of people could have been killed. Your dad's gonna be real proud. I'll see you around, Jerry. Yeah, how did you give my cell phone number anyway? I've only had it for like six months. Your dad gave it to me. Oh. Well, when did you talk to him? Well, I mean, I didn't exactly talk to him, but uh, called his number, his voice message said to give you a call. <gasps> Thanks again, guys. Wait a second. So his dad... Wait a second. This doesn't make any sense, man. I've called that number like 50 times. It's been out of service. Yeah. so sad what does that mean is he passing down the torch where the is he oh. so that was a 
hard one to get through. I'll be honest. I was that one was a lot harder. There were some funny moments. Don't get me wrong. Dean up on the plane had me absolutely like loving it. I we finally found out his fear was flying and he conquered it. But that whole scene, I should not have been laughing during that plane scene where they were like going down. But at the same time, Dean huddled in the corner, like screaming for his absolute like bloody murder. He was just screaming. And I was, it was just, oh my gosh, it was so funny. And I don't know if I love this story as much as I've loved the other ones. It was a little bit, for me, I didn't really enjoy the demon as much, um, or the demon aspect as much. I didn't think it, I, it was as cool as what we've seen so far, but it really sucks though. This one had a lot of heartfelt moments, a lot of sad things, a lot of connecting moments because, you know, with Sam having to relive, you know, the thing with the demon being a dick and bringing up Jessica and how she died and all that. It made Sam have a hard moment and it made him had to question things. And then, you know, their dad obviously is still alive, but like, we don't know where he is. And he gave out Dean's number. So it makes you wonder, like, is he, is he coming back? Is he, did he ever plan on coming back? Is he passing the torch to Dean? Is he what does that mean? What does that message mean as far as the future? Does it mean that their, that their dad will not be returning, that their dad is, is, I don't know. The only thing it can mean to me is that he's passing the torch. Like he's saying, I can't be of, of help right now, but my son can. And I'm like, well, what does that mean though? Does that mean that you're, you're not going to be coming back? But I don't know. That one was a little bit more, um, more crazy than I expected. And I like the, I like, I, I also loved, I also loved the scene where Dean was beaten up on the demon. Cause I was like, what if he just beaten up on the pilot? Like what if the demon exited the pilot and didn't even, wasn't even in him anymore. That was a great scene, but it was so hard to watch Sam have to hear about Jessica from a demon. That was so heartbreaking, but I enjoyed that. Um, like I said, probably not my favorite episode, but we've had some real bangers so far. So, you know, I can't really fault it for having one bad episode. Like I said we will continue after spooky season, but spooky season is going to be mainly like horror movies, uh, family friendly Halloween movies and Halloweenish kind of series. I know this is kind of Halloweeny, but it's, it's, we're not going to do supernatural for Halloween. So we will continue it after spooky season. So look forward to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. Until next time, guys. Bye.